Often in the real world, it's not the smart who get ahead, but the bold. When you need advice, make sure you choose your advisor wisely. Job security meant everything to my educated dad. Learning meant everything to my rich dad. In 1994, I retired. I was 47, and my wife Kim was 37. Retirement does not mean not working. For us, it means that, barring unforeseen cataclysmic changes, we can work or not work, and our wealth grows automatically, staying ahead of inflation. Our assets are large enough to grow by themselves. It's like planting a tree. You water it for years, and then one day it doesn't need you anymore. Its roots are implanted deep enough. Then the tree provides shade for your enjoyment. The lesson, the increases in income are going to entrepreneurs and investors, not to employees not to the people who work for money. Garrett Sutton's books on corporations provide wonderful insight into the power of personal corporations. Working hard for money is an old formula born in the day of cavemen. If you want to be rich, you need to be financially literate. You work for the company. Employees make their business owner or the shareholders rich, not themselves. Your efforts and success will help provide for the owner's success and retirement. 2. You work for the government. The government takes its share from your paycheck before you even see it. By working harder, you simply increase the amount of taxes taken by the government. Most people work from January to May just for the government. 3. You work for the bank. After taxes, your next largest expense is usually your mortgage and credit card debt. The problem with simply working harder is that each of these three levels takes a greater share of your increased efforts. You need to learn how to have your increased efforts benefit you and your family directly. Making more money will not solve your problems if cash flow management is the problem. The people who understand the power of financial numbers have power over those who do not. Daily routine at work was to find their faults, point those flaws out to them, and It is not gambling if you know what you're doing. It is gambling if you're just throwing money into a deal and praying. If people are prepared to be flexible, keep an open mind and learn, they will grow richer and richer despite tough changes. The reason the rich pay less in taxes goes back to rich dad's lesson number one, the rich don't work for money. As long as a person works for money, they will pay taxes. Banks see this as good customer relations because, if you have savings with them, you may come in and borrow money too. They want you to do this because they can then charge 9% or more on what you borrow. Then blame them for the problems we had as an organization. When emotion goes up, intelligence goes down. Too often, when it comes to the subject of money, common sense is uncommon. There are five main reasons why financially literate people may still not develop abundant asset columns that could produce a large cash flow. The five reasons are, 1. Fear 2. Cynicism 3. Laziness 4. Bad Habits 5. Arrogance.